Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on the all-electric BMW i3s. I think we rung the bell when we bought this car. We've got so lucky with it up to this point. So in the last video, we got it stripped out. We've got the windscreen removed. We pulled the trigger and ordered the parts. We've got a brand new windscreen due in for this today. We've got new little pieces that go here. We've got new pieces for the front. And most importantly, we, me and myself and Chris have just removed these quite badly scratched. So this one here is actually the glove box lid. You've got that bigger section now, which actually goes down in here. And then you've got the little one that goes, as you can see, just over there. Now I'm just gonna drop these off. In fact, I'm gonna take these up to Kenny and he's gonna wrap these for us. That's the plan for them. Otherwise, you've got to order a new one or have it painted. We've decided we're gonna have them wrapped and the good thing is with a wrap is if you don't like it and it doesn't look right, you can always pull it off. So let's get these dropped off and give Liam a call and see if we can get him out here just after the screen's delivered to actually get that fitted. Good old Liam, just a phone call there. I'm right on cue. He said, I'll be a couple of hours, Rob, and I'm going to be there. He arrives and they crack straight on with it. Liam's getting the uh, aperture all prepared there and Stephen is outside getting the windscreen repaired straight into getting the glue on there and then of course they'll both come in lift the windscreen in get it in the exact right position and then start fitting it up with all of the trims you can see straight away the difference it's made just having that windscreen back in the hole how much better does that car look it has completely bought that car back together with just that new windscreen in it. And it's all gone back together perfectly. We've got all those new panels on there. This one, unfortunately, does have a couple of little marks up here. You can see scuff marks. But of course, we need to get some paintwork done on the roof. So I'm probably gonna have those A-pillars done as well for the sake of those little scratches that are not gonna come out. They want doing, don't they? So that's that side of it all done. Chris has already made a start on the front bumper so we've got this little tiny piece of damage and of course we've got the new wheel arch that's in the container i'll grab that in a minute and that has come in primer as has the towing eye cover so we're going to need to get those both painted as well but chris is going to work his magic on this and i'm not going to say it until later but we got a bit of a we got a bit of a plan for this damage on this bonnet as well so also, I can't get to them now, can I? Uh, yeah, got that? Yeah. Kenny dropped these off last night. Well, how good does that look? It's spectacular, right? He did say it's expensive wrap because it's yeah. like a real carbon looking wrap. But imagine that in a minute, well, after Chris is finished, all bolted back on there. The centre section is in the back down there on the floor. And the little little end piece is just in there. Let's get that out and show you that, guys, as well. Look at that. How much better is that going to... That was a really, really good choice, that. Really good choice. Anyway, let's get on, get this front bumper sorted out. And we've got plenty to do on this one. So only a very, very small repair here for Chris to do. But still, of course, it takes a little bit of time. So he's got the heat gun on there and he's... I don't know actually what he's got in his hand. I probably should have asked, but he's got something in there. Just pushing against it and then letting it cool, getting it back to its exact position, trying that arch on there, getting the screws in, getting the bumper realigned, and it looks absolutely perfect. It's just going to need that little repair and some paint. And we're starting to very much come together with this one already. So just pointing out, toe and eye cap came in primer from BMW, very fairly priced. And also the hockey stick there, you can see, come in the correct color. Now, quite a few people sent me pictures of this car at the scene of the accident. I think the lady posted it somewhere. Quite a few people sent me a picture of it. And in the picture, you can actually see this hockey stick laying on the floor just in front of the car. Let me include that picture now. And as you can see, we've had to buy a new one. So the recovery driver never put it inside the car. 
But it is, it is what it is. So such a shame that didn't come with it. But again, I think very reasonably priced. And the windscreen, I genuinely still can't believe how much that was priced at. It was very, very fair. And also, Liam got us a price for a pattern windscreen, because that's ultimately what they are. And he'd be the first one to tell you, it was actually more expensive than what we paid for this windscreen on Trade Club from BMW. I've had that uh, tyre puncture repaired. And of course, while I was out getting that done, Chris has perfected that bit of damage that was there. So the bumper had come unclipped. This wheel arch was missing. And of course, it had that little bit squashed in there. But he's worked his magic with it. That's going to need a tiny smart repair just there and now. And then that wheel arch is going to need painting gloss black. So, so far, again, so good. But I did mention... A little bit earlier, I was going to say something about this bonnet. Now, the bonnet is rippled there quite badly. If you bend down, you can see how bad it is. And then if you look down here, it's actually squashed. And that is because that tree landed on there like that and went through that windscreen. And that is where the tree has landed on it and it has caused that damage. And Chris said, yeah, Rob, we can repair that a few hours and then it's going to need repainting. Do you know what? I rung up. We bought a brand new, genuine bonnet from BMW. And again, in those numbers, you're going to see what we paid for this. And you know, just by me saying that we're not going to do the repairs on this one, how cheap that was. And I'm going to say cheap because that was cheap for that bonnet. It is plastic. So now we can have the roof painted. We can also have the bonnet painted, all the other black bits. And it's just going to be a lovely repair, isn't it? Everything broken on this car has been replaced, apart from that tiny, tiny little repair that we've got there. So let's get that wheel fitted, get this one out on the road and actually take it and have some tyres put on it. I mean, I haven't bought a torch here with me, but I think if you look at that wear marker, it is right on the wear marker, that tyre. So it's going to want some tyres on it. Right, let's get this wheel back on and then fit the, let's call it carbon trim. Let's get that carbon trim all fitted and the wheel back on. Time for a little run out in it. I am going to whip over and get the tyres done. But I've chucked everything back in here. I've chucked those mats back in just to try and keep it kind of tidy. You can see that's back in as well. Let's, uh, let's get over, get a couple of tyres on it. I'm quite excited. So we've got Rich on the job today. Rich, get in the video. Stop hiding, mate. We like you in the videos. <laughs> You've been in them a lot. It's miles out, isn't it? Yeah, so pulling left. Um, ideally, we should be plus seven, plus seven. We've seen the minimum of the two tolerances. Uh, we've got plus one this side, plus 13. So it's going to end up pulling. Uh, yeah. Effective sorts of stuff. There, it, the there is a couple of scuffs on this passenger wheel. We've got to have it refurb. So it's probably clipped to curb a couple yeah, of times, hasn't it? Rich did say this is all locked, it's all safe, it's all secure, I can get underneath here. I just wanted to show you all, a lot of people was worried that there was damage under here, being picked up a forklift at Copart, and of course this is the battery, but look at it, it's absolutely immaculate. There's no more marks on here than you would expect from any other car. In fact, I think it'll all just wipe off. Absolutely no damage whatsoever, nothing. Now I actually thought that the under tray, oh it is, you can see is a little bit loose on that front bumper. We have got to do something with that and I'd forgot all about it, but the battery, you can see all the connections, everything's lovely under here. Absolutely nothing wrong. Let's let Rich track it up and get back so to the all yard. All now done, two nice new tyres on the back. We was going to go with all four. I ordered all four, but Luke actually said, Rob, you'll be crazy to change them front ones. They only come with eight mil and they've still got five on them. So that's two tyres done, all the tracking done. And then as you can see inside the car there, we have got the bonnet. So I am going to drop this one off to JW Smarts and have the bit of paintwork done. And I guess we'll pick up once it comes back. But I am picking the Discovery up while I'm over there because we've had all of the paintwork finished on that. Let's get over there. So a few days later, and I've actually been running around in this one since it come back from Smart Services. So you can see he'd done a little smart repair on this bumper. They've just painted the corner. 
gloss blacked that brand new trim. Of course, they've gloss blacked that uh, toe and eye cover. And that is a brand new bonnet with our original trims. These apparently were a nightmare to change. They've got two screws at the top, three at the bottom, and they're actually double-sided on. That's just one screw holding that on. But so glad we went with that brand new bonnet and fitted that. You can see, all beautiful. And actually, if we, uh, the car's actually locked. I've got keys in my pocket. It's locked itself there. That's, uh, sorry, I should have been more prepared, shouldn't I? That's it, it is unlocked now. So the old bonnet is actually in the back there, and I'm sure that that bonnet is going to have a worth as well and get a little bit of our money back, but I'm going to unload that in a minute. And the roof, of course, the whole roof, you can see I've been using it, is filthy again. So the plan is, I think, I need to get some charge in this. It has got 14... Let's get in it. Uh, yeah, you can see it has got 12 miles left. And a lot of you did say, let me just turn this around. A lot of you did say, before you sell that car, Rob, you need to prove that it does actually charge. So I'm gonna get rid of this bonnet, chuck that in my van, and we're gonna head to a charging point and put this on a quick charge and fingers crossed it should be all right and then we'll i'm actually going to get it cleaned as well and i'm going to show you this carbon trim inside in fact i can show you now the carbon trim we had done i showed this earlier look how lovely it looks but this is going to drive everyone's ocd crazy if i go back a little bit when i've given that to ken he said what way up does it go and i've given it to him that way up uh sorry i've given it to him the other way up and you can see the lines are running that way, and on this one, they're running that way. I sent him a picture. He said, pop that out and bring it back to me before you video it. So I just thought I'd show it. We're going to get that done, of course, because it doesn't tie in. But what a good choice that was. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's get on and get this one done. I've arrived at McDonald's. Look at that little car. I'm so made up with this. It looks brand new. There's not a blemish on it, apart from that little scuff on the wheel that I forgot to get done, but that's gonna get done quickly. I've just pulled up here. We've got 10 miles to charge it up. Never charged a car before. So I'm sitting here reading the instructions and it's not this charger, it's this one. And someone's currently got their van plugged into it. So. I'm gonna to have to wait, aren't I? I don't know how much it costs. I don't know how long it takes. I guess now is the time for me to start researching it. Why these people have got their, uh, why they've got their car plugged in. But I'm keen to know how much it's gonna cost, how long it's gonna take, and we're all here to see it. So I'm sure quite a lot of you already got electric cars. You already know, but first time for me. And is that cable even gonna reach that car? I don't think it is. So we'll probably wait till these are gone and then get it swapped over. Wish me luck. Right, and we're off. So we're flashing blue, and this is a rapid charger. The lady next to me just told me. So I've just put my card in there, and it said 45 pound initial payment taken. And we've got, we actually only had 5%, but we're up to 9% already, and unit price is 85p per kilowatt hour. So cost so far, nothing. And she said this should charge the car in an hour because it's a rapid charger. I guess we're going to time it. Let's have a look. Sorry. It is 10 to 12. Let's have a look how long it takes to get all the way up there. Got a lot to learn, haven't I? I've just said the time, 10 to 12. I've jumped in the car and it says it's charging and it will be complete by 1.19. I might as well go and do my walk now while this is charging. It's going to be just over an hour. It's actually going to be done a little bit quicker. Now, I've just walked for an hour 
and it says there 99 percent let's open the car up and have a look how much it says how funny i was queuing up for the mcdonald's and i just see eddie driving through yeah 106 it's going to be full up so let's let it completely finish we are fully charged and it cost 38 pounds let's go to the yard and crunch the numbers like that, mate. first time as a passenger in the all-electric car but yeah it's good a very quiet rob it is quiet it's, it's, i still take some getting used to of course i've had a little whiz around in it i've charged it yep and um oh, it does pick up doesn't it it does pick up but what mode's that i've in, actually rob? got it in eco pro which is right it actually it's got a limit on there at 56 you can see you can push it and get it over that limit yep but and then you go you can go up into different modes i don't want to play with the buttons while I'm driving but no it's got eco pro then it's got eco then it's got comfort then it's got sport and of course where i've been driving it in sport and i've had it, it the computer takes a little while to update in the car oh yeah yeah that's why when i when i first charged it up i mean you've only just watched that bit back <coughs> and it looked like we didn't we got 140 miles for a full charge but that's where i've been me and you have been launching it yeah, that's, that's every right every time we got in it we're like how far yeah is it oh no <laughs> Yeah, so it's hard are, not to, isn't it? It is hard not to. We're just going to pop it into sport now. What are you going to go on that? We're going on the old... Old bit of road. Old bit of road. Yeah, good we, idea. We'll just do a stop-start. Yeah. What am I going to... Am I going to try and show the speed, though? You can do, like, a bit of a knock to 60, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's within the national speed limit, isn't it? It's 70, yeah. Should we do yeah. it from standing stop? Ready? I think it'd be 60 here, Rob. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Go. Oof. Blimey, ain't ghosting. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry about the shaky camera. Yep. Wow. It just don't mess about, does it? That's got some talk, hasn't it? Has it has got some talk. I really like it. And do you know what? This has... I'm, I'm going to save it till we get back to the yard and do the numbers. But I'm so, so... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it. I'm impressed. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm impressed. Definitely. I'm very, very impressed. Well, we've dipped our toe in the electric car market haven't we we have indeed we've yeah. had a couple of hybrids haven't we but yeah. this is the first fully electric and um yeah I'm, yeah good i've got something to say about this car in the numbers in a minute and i think <coughs> you're gonna agree with it let's get back to the yard and do the numbers cool <laughs> right so first of all just before we do the numbers when the, i was just saying in the car there was something i wanted to bring up when Normally I'll buy cars, I'll just go on Copart, I'm at home, I'll put our bids in and I'll buy the stuff, I don't even run it by you. Uh, I mean, very often I'm, the odd car I, we'll, I might uh, mention, discuss, won't yeah, we? we'll discuss. And with that electric car, I came in the next morning and I said to Chris, look, what do you think of this? And he was like, the same as me. A bit like, oh, well, it's, we're out of our comfort zone a bit, it is an all electric car. But it is a calculated risk. We weighed up the pros and cons. And what we actually decided that our absolute maximum bid was going to be £8,000 on that car. So £8,000 I'll put in. And I said, if we get out bid, we've lost that car. Well, guess what? We actually won it for £6,400 on approval. So it had a reserve. But after two days, backwards and forwards, they come back, they wanted £9,000. 600. Yeah, I think actually, was it the Thursday you bid and it was the Monday morning, your phone pinged, you've won a car? That we'd won it, yeah. yeah. So it was um, but quite they, a few days. They come back with a counter that they wanted 9,600. Oh, yes. Immediately, the end, immediately we won it, wasn't it? Yeah. You, went, you checked it. After the auction. <clears throat> and I actually said to Chris, shall I go up 100 quid? And he said, Rob, don't break no. your own rules yeah. that you made. And I, he was right, so I stuck to original bid. And on the Monday morning, they let us have that car for £6,400. The fees for buying that car were £795.60p, so a total of £719,560. So well under the £8,000 oh, yeah. we was going to yeah, spend. Because it would have been near nine with the fees. It would it? have been, yeah. <clears throat> so transportation to get it home on our truck, £60. The bonnet. Brand new from the dealer. It's a good price, isn't it? Two hundred and fifteen pound ten p. Would you want to spend that time repairing that bonnet, priming it, sending it off a paint? If you couldn't get one, you would. But for that money, no. it's just not worth it's it. Not. And that car ain't got a drop of filler in it no. anywhere. 
Windscreen, again, shocking, no pun intended. <laughs> 266 pounds. And that- From the dealer. That was from the dealer on Trade Club, and that was cheaper than what Liam could genuinely buy yeah. one for yeah. without yeah. fitting it. That was a lot of work there for Liam to actually get that windscreen out. Horrible, horrible job with all that broken glass. <clears throat> it's, I would say, five times more work for a windscreen fitter to cut out a, a destroyed yeah. windscreen than it is to cut out a normal But one. also, it's two trips for him, it, isn't it? It is. Come, he came and took it out for us. That's right. And then he had to come back and fit it on a different day. So Exactly. So we give him £100. Windscreen moulding. Bought a new one for it, just goes in the top of the screen, £19.10 from the dealer. In fact, let's just say it, everything come from the dealer. Yeah. Wheel arch, so the little wheel arch off the bumper, £59.76. Towing eye cap was £20.12p. The blue bumper trim that the lorry driver didn't pick up, I'm sure I've included a picture somewhere in this. Video. You have. If, yeah, if I haven't, I'll include that. £52.21. Mirror trims. So they're the little plastic <laughs> things that go under the mirror. Liam got his trim clip behind, remover behind one. He said, these are a nightmare. Ping, snap, straight away, didn't it? I yeah. said, I'll have a go at the other side. <laughs> Ping, I broke that. So we had to buy two new mirror trims, and they were £62.77 each, giving a total of £125.54. We're getting there. Windscreen wiper blades, always best to change them after they've been on a broken windscreen. They've got little tiny rips in them, and they're going to have bits of glass in them. Two new tyres, £494. That was with A2, of course, looking after us. Tracking was £30. I've kept that separate so you know how much we paid. The valet I had done was £30. The charge for the charge was £34 for the fast charge. The carbon wrap, of course, Kenny tried not to I charge know. us, <clears throat> but we made him take a little yeah. drink and we give him 40 quid when he left. Wheel refurb, £60. Now, headlining, do you want to elaborate on that? Um, well, it's on back order from yep. BMW, and it will be £545 to us, won't it, when it's in. But we haven't got a date at the moment for that, so we've added it in there. Yeah. And you're going to elaborate on the next bit. Yeah. You've got to add paint as well yet to this price. Oh, I have, yeah. Yeah. So you, you did but say, But I've included the 545 on the costings for the headlining, but effectively we're not 500 quid off if not if because you can't see the damage you were saying earlier when we was out for a drive you have to actually go like that yeah. and, and look for the damage to find yeah. it because it's right up the front but when of we the... get to that in a minute when yeah. you do the asking price there's two prices there okay one including headline and one not including the headline okay and then <clears throat> paint at jw smarts 800 pound that is giving us a total that's it of for that little car, ten thousand one hundred and eighty-six pound forty-three p, and it's like a brand new car. I right? buy it. I know. I know. Well, You'd buy them all day long at that moment. Honestly, what Wouldn't a you? lovely. You would, you would genuinely buy them all day long at that money. Free road tax. Mm. One owner from new. One lady owner from new. Yeah. Never been thrashed. It can't be. No. Ain't got an engine. <clears throat> Comes with a full charge. Yeah. And we're going to ask, that's cheap, that is. That car's still under warranty, isn't it? It's still under warranty. People will argue, well, it's cat in, it's not under warranty, but it is, ultimately, it's still under warranty. And the battery is guaranteed yeah. until 2029 or 30. Something like that, yeah. Asking, we're going to ask £16,500 for it with a new roof line in. Did you do the total? Yeah, well, ten. You have, yeah, yeah ten thousand one hundred eighty six. Sorry, yeah, of you have, yeah. We're going to ask sixteen and a half grand for it, or sixteen k as it is. Yeah. So that's without the roof lining, and genuinely, I mean, you can't see it unless you've been. No, right you've got there. a you've yeah, got her, you? and have a look, and you can't see it from outside either because it's like a dark patch, and it is just a lump on the roof lining where it's 
it had actually torn it. We've put a little bit of glue on there to flap it back That's over right. and just wiped it over so that it does look fine. That is going to give us, which turn, turns out, I mean, all that worry I was doing about this car and discussing it when we bought it, and we've ended up with a £6,313.57 profit. Pre-tax profit. Pre-tax profit. Yeah, it's brilliant. Was it worth doing an electric car? Clearly it was, wasn't it? Clearly, definitely the, it was. Um, we don't do man hours, but in man hours it wasn't a lot, was it, compared to some? I've done it, Chris, honestly. <clears> I've done, <throat> I think you did a repair on the bumper. Was, I don't was, think we actually did anything to it, did no, we? Liam done the windscreen. Everyone else done it. Smiles has done the paint. Yeah. We've literally, yeah. that's actually turned out <coughs> to be, I'm going to say it, one of the best cars we've ever bought. I genuinely yeah. do because yeah. there weren't anything wrong with it. No. We, ha no. we haven't actually had to really. Chris spent half an hour, an hour. The trouble is we're going to shoot ourselves in the foot now because everyone's going to be on co-part trying to buy the electric cars, same as us, Rob. But Listen, it ain't... We, you know. we, I know, I know so, people say you do make it look easy and genuinely that was an easy one it you was. can't deny it, it was, and you yeah. can't dress it up it was it was easy and anyone could have done that job anybody but it's not always like that no. it's not always like that it is a calculated risk each yeah. time and I wouldn't recommend anyone just go and take a risk no. on an electric vehicle for definitely the first not. time or definitely not any vehicle to no. come to think no. of it so you have got to look after your money and be very, very careful. But That's right. We've been in this game a long time, and when you get a little tickle like that, it really does yeah. give you that high. Yeah. Especially coming off the back well, of... Well, it the, makes up for some of the ones that are... Like the Corsa not, and not, stuff. Not so yeah, good, yeah but, it certainly um, does. Yeah. So, that is going to be the end of today's video. That little car is going to be on Instagram next weekend. It can go on sooner than that. Well, whatever you want to do, really. Just let the video play out for a couple of days. That one's <coughs> yeah. going to be coming up on Instagram. Yeah. <coughs> I know already I've had loads of people inquire about it, but unfortunately, this is the way we started to do it. This is the way we think is fairest to do it, and it's the way we're going to continue to do it. Yeah. We're going to put it on Instagram. It's fastest finger first. If you enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate that thumbs up. If you want to follow us on Instagram, it's Selvage Rebuilt. Chris is just back off the back of a trip from Scotland and no doubt will be putting bits I will be putting a, on his um, personal Instagram. I will be, yes. Selvage Rebuilds, yeah. Chris. Like, subscribe, share on all your social networking sites and we will look forward to seeing you all on Wednesday in the next one.